Most of us have some idea what the difference is between a parrot, a pigeon, and a vulture. There seems to be an endless amount of bird species thriving on our planet. Some fill our hearts with excitement, whereas another will definitely scare us. That's the world of birds. So diverse. However, some can cause serious trouble and others can even be deadly. To humans, too. <laughs> it sort of looks like those... <laughs> Don't believe us? Just try to wrap your minds around these wicked winged wonders. 15 dangerous birds you should run away from. <laughs> Cassowary. They've been described as a turkey fused with a velociraptor. They look deadly and they often are. This bird can grow up to six feet tall, weigh over a hundred pounds, and can kick people to death. The cassowary's nickname of murder bird is well deserved. Together with emus, they're among the few species of birds definitely known to have killed at least one human. They have a reputation for being scary, and that reputation is somewhat well deserved. But they're also fascinating. Looking rather like a combination of a turkey and an ostrich, their body features different colors and textures, from feathers to skin like that of a dinosaur. From their large black feathered body to the bluish skin on their head and reddish skin on their neck to blue-gray colored legs, cassowaries also have one five-inch claw on the toe of each foot, which they can use to kick out at fast speeds. Since they can't fly, they use their crest and claws to protect themselves and stand their ground. In a fight, their middle claw acts like a dagger, standing at four inches in length and can cause serious damage. Can you imagine this thing emerging from the bushes to stare you down? You don't want to anger these birds. Now let's get ready for today's missing topic. Prehistoric birds are known as those species that have become extinct before being recorded by modern sources. They went extinct along with dinosaurs millions of years ago. These birds were extremely giant compared to the birds of this age, like the Harpagornis, a predatory raptor and the biggest eagle of all time. They were hunted to extinction by the first human settlers of New Zealand. These flying carnivorous birds were able to kill and eat the dinosaurs. As you could imagine, this is what the most dangerous bird in the world can do. But are they still doing it somewhere in the world? If this picture of a giant eagle lunging toward this clueless human was to be fully comprehended, maybe there is a bird out there right now with prehistoric proportions. Yet. Human life cannot be imagined along with these dangerous prehistoric killers. And although fossils of these birds are being discovered across the entire world, let's just hope they're not actually flying in the skies above us or hunting us on the ground right now, right? Leave your thoughts in the comments with the hashtag missing topic. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Canada Goose. They say that people are just nicer in Canada, but this bird did not get the memo. Spring is the breeding season for Canada geese. The birds often become aggressive if they believe that their eggs or goslings are threatened. Even if you don't see a nest, one may be nearby. If you get too close, a goose may attack to defend it. Plus, if wild geese are fed by people, they lose their natural fear of humans. This is one of many reasons why it's not a good idea to feed wild geese. The female stays in the nest with the eggs during the incubation period, and it's the male's job to protect them. He usually stays nearby and stands guard. If a potential predator gets too close, he'll often give a warning call and try to chase it away. If the intruder does not leave quickly, things can escalate. Geese pay close attention to the eyes and body language of people and other animals that they view as potential threats. If a goose begins attacking aggressively toward you, back away slowly and never run. Yell, kick, or act aggressively in any way. If you do, the other bird may attack you as well. Most goose attacks on humans result in minor or no injuries, but severe injuries can happen. Goose attacks have resulted in broken bones, head trauma, and emotional distress. <laughs> Bearded Vulture These intimidating birds get their common name from the long black bristles at the base of their beaks, which give the vultures a bearded appearance. In Germany, they're sometimes called a lamb vulture. This comes from the bearded vulture's reputation for killing livestock, especially lambs. However, 
Contrary to their reputation, there's no sufficient evidence of these birds preying on living lambs. Another old term for the bearded vulture in German is bone breaker, which refers to the bird's unique diet. One of the most essential bearded vulture facts is that almost the entirety of their diet consists of animal bones. Specifically, bone marrow makes up 85 to 90 percent of their diet. It's the only bird on earth that specializes in eating bone marrow. These scavengers pick up the bones of dead animals. They also prefer dried, brittle bones rather than fresh ones. If they cannot swallow a bone whole, it picks the bone up with its large talons. If it attempts to break it by repeatedly dropping it from a giant height onto hard surfaces, such as rocks, this process allows them to access the calorie-rich bone marrow. Bearded vultures live atop the rocky cliffs across southern Europe, Asia, and some parts of Africa, scavenging bones across their wide territories. <laughs> Shoebill Stork They appear in ancient Egyptian art, and Arabs called the stork Abu Markab, which means father of a slipper. That goofy-looking bill on the front of this bird may look like a shoe, that's how it got its name after all, but make no mistake, it's a tool that can be lethal. Although they're not typically a danger to humans, they're not to be played with. Found in tropical Africa, shoebill storks are definitely apex predators that do prefer bigger prey. They eat big fish like lungfish, eels, and catfish, and also reptiles like monitor lizards, snakes, and baby crocodiles. The storks are masters of patience. They'll sit in the water for hours on end, sometimes submerged up to their waists as they wait for innocent prey to swim by. During this time, the bird remains silent, and its dark feathers often blend into the nearby shadows. Its unusually large bill helps it in the swift decapitation of prey and also is separating out vegetation that may be grabbed along with the fish. The shoebill's wings are well suited for soaring. They're strong enough to enable the bird to lift off near vertically, though it requires a powerful leap and a few heavy wing beats, and it has long legs and long toes to traverse sodden, marshy habitats. <laughs> Australian Magpie even though most magpies don't attack people, many have seen or experienced a magpie attack while walking or riding through a magpie's territory. Sometimes they even attack in pairs. The Australian magpie is a medium-sized songbird with distinctive black and white plumage, gold-brown eyes, and a solid wedge-shaped bluish tail and black bill. The male has pure white feathers on the back of the head and the female has white blending to gray feathers on the back of their head. With its long legs, the Australian magpie walks rather than waddles or hops and spends much time on the ground. But when it flies, look out! A magpie's defensive behavior can range from a non-contact swoop with or without beak snapping to pecking, dive bombing, and sometimes front-on attacks from the ground. However, only a small proportion of magpies swoop on people, and these often have a preference for a few individuals that the birds recognize or certain types of targets like pedestrians and cyclists. A magpie will only defend its nest within a defense zone. Almost all swoops on people are carried out by male magpies defending their eggs and chicks. But although that's bad news, if a magpie takes a dislike to you, they're actually pretty easy to make friends with, according to bird experts. <laughs> Harpy Eagle these great birds are named after harpies, the predatory frightful flying creatures with hooked beaks and claws of Greek mythology. The harpy eagle is legendary, although few people have seen one in their native habitat, from Mexico to northern Argentina. This dark gray bird of prey has a very distinctive look, with feathers atop its head that fan into a bold crest when the bird feels threatened. Some smaller gray feathers create a facial disc that may focus sound waves to improve the bird's hearing similar to owls. The harpy may not be the largest bird of prey, but this extraordinary creature is definitely the heaviest and most powerful of birds. Like most eagles, the female harpy is almost twice as large as the male. The harpy eagle's legs can be as thick as a baby's arm, and its curved black talons are larger than grizzly bear claws at five inches long. You'll never see a harpy eagle soaring over the top of a rainforest. Instead, the powerful harpy flies below the forest canopy and uses its great talons to snatch up monkeys and sloths that can weigh up to 17 pounds. And in a serious chase of reaching speeds of 50 miles per hour, it dives down onto its prey and snatches it with outstretched feet 
Its short, broad wings help the harpy fly almost straight up, so it can attack prey from below as well as above. Pitoi, check out this medium-sized songbird with rich chestnut and black plumage, but don't be deceived by its unique coloring. The hooded Pitoi, a small bird endemic to Papua New Guinea, is the first and only scientifically confirmed poisonous bird in the world. Incredibly, the bird's toxic potential was only officially discovered by chance just over three decades ago. The toxic nature of this bird, however, was well known to local hunters, who avoid it. It's one of the most poisonous species of Patoe, but the toxicity of individual birds can vary geographically, containing a range of poisonous compounds in its skin feathers and other tissues, these toxins are thought to be derived from its diet and may function both to deter predators and to protect the bird from parasites. The diet is made up of fruits, seeds, and invertebrates. A social bird, it lives in family groups and frequently joins and even leads mixed species foraging flocks. This species is apparently a cooperative breeder, with family groups helping to protect the nest and feed the young. The hooded patoe is found in forests from sea level up to 5,000 feet but it's most common in hills and low mountains. <laughs> Pelican Pelicans are found on all of the continents of the world except Antarctica. The American white is restricted to interior parts of Canada. The brown pelican is found along the western coast and Florida coast of the United States and northern South America. The Peruvian pelican clings to the Pacific coastlines of Peru and Chile. They're fish eaters that thrive near rivers, lakes, deltas and estuaries. Some are confined to coastal regions while others range near large interior lakes. And those beaks! All pelicans eat fish. They scoop them up in their iconic beaks and then drain the water from their pouches before swallowing their prey. They can also dive into the water at great speed to capture their prey. These keen-eyed predators can spot a fish swimming under the ocean surface even while flying 60 feet above. Once a target has been spotted from above, the pelicans plunge into the sea bill first at high speeds and often from a height of several stories. When they collide with the prey, the impact force usually stuns the victim and it's then scooped up in the gular pouch. To increase their chances of success, the birds occasionally form hunting parties, gathering in a U-shape and beating their wings on the water to corral fish. <laughs> Great Horned Owl It's not often that you hear about an owl attack, but known for high-profile attacks, the Great Horned Owl has been called the Tiger of the Sky. Rightly so. Their predatory nature, both on the ground and in the sky, can be ruthless. High-profile attacks from Great Horned Owls include a jogger in Oregon who was struck on the scalp. This is a usual attack tactic from this owl as they aim for the face and head when hunting large animals. Plus, this bird often visits cities and therefore is around people more often than other owls. These owls are impressive hunters and will usually hunt small mammals and even fellow birds. Since they're opportunistic feeders, they're not picky about what they consume. Owls are known for their extremely sharp talons that do most of the work when the owl swoops on their prey from above. They can pierce organs and could even snap a bone. They come at such speed and so silently that anything they choose to hunt is essentially helpless to defend themselves in time. They will tear up any prey into smaller sizes that they were able to eat. Known to get very protective of their territories, fights with other owls can often end in death. They've been known to win a fight with an eagle. Mute Swan The exotic mute swan is an elegant bird made famous in ballets and fairy tales. With their long neck curved into an S, they really are striking to look at. The birds are one of the largest waterfowl in North America and Europe, weighing up to 28 pounds with a wingspan of up to 8 feet. They're among the heaviest flying birds in the world. Although they're numerous and familiar in city parks and in bays and lakes in the Pacific Northwest, Great Lakes, Northeast, and Mid-Atlantic, mute swans are not native to North America. Their aggressive behavior and voracious appetites often disturb local ecosystems, displace native species, and as you can see, even pose a hazard to people. The swan's aggressive reaction is typical for the species when defending a nest. Males are very territorial and will chase intruders away. Disputes over territory may result in males fighting aggressively, rushing at each other, and sliding along the water surface. 
Mute swans make a range of vocalizations and hiss aggressively when threatened. If you approach a swan nest, they might get aggressive and hiss and flap their wings, so just keep your distance. <laughs> Ostrich Ostriches are the fastest runners of any bird. They can sprint at over 100 miles per hour, covering almost 200 feet in a single stride at times. Ostriches running is aided by having just two toes on each foot. Most birds have four, with a large nail on the larger inner toe resembling a hoof. Their wings reach a span of about eight feet and are used in mating displays to shade chicks, to cover the naked skin of the upper legs and flanks to conserve heat, and as rudders to help them change direction while running. When threatened ostriches run, their powerful, long legs can be formidable weapons capable of killing a human or a potential predator. Even a lion with a forward kick, territorial fights between males for a harem of two to seven females usually last just minutes, but they can easily cause death by slamming their heads into opponents. Contrary to popular belief, ostriches do not bury their heads in the sand. The myth probably originates from the bird's defensive behavior of lying low at the approach of trouble and pressing their long necks to the ground in an attempt to become less visible. Their plumage blends well with sandy soil and from a distance gives the appearance that they have buried their heads. Red-tailed hawk Common throughout North America, these raptors, or birds of prey, have keen eyesight, binocular vision, powerful talents for grabbing prey, and a sharp beak. They're one of the largest North American hawks and are commonly seen flying over rural areas from coast to coast, whether perched on a pole, soaring overhead, or just a distant high-pitched screech heard from beyond the trees, it's not uncommon across their paths. Red-tailed hawks, like all raptors, have excellent vision for hunting. They can see colors, like most humans can, as well as those in the ultraviolet range. This means that the hawks can perceive colors that humans cannot see. They see black and white well enough to also hunt at dusk, the time when nocturnal wildlife, especially rodents and bats, begins to awaken and move around. And while most birds have no sense of smell, some scientists believe that these hawks may have some smelling ability. This could also help them in catching prey, Adult red-tailed hawks have few predators, but great horned owls and crows prey on red-tailed hawk eggs and nestlings. Owls compete with these hawks for nest sites. Both birds are known to kill the young and destroy the eggs of the other to succeed. <laughs> Kia Parrot Residing in temperate forests and rocky alps, Kias are much different from the tropical parents you're accustomed to. For example, have you ever heard of another parrot that's at home in the snow? This fascinating bird is endemic to New Zealand, where it's found only in the mountains of the South Island. The olive green birds are highly intelligent and famously playful, earning them the nickname the Clown of the Mountains, but they also have a darker side. With their long curved beaks, they can rip the wool off the backs of sheep and tear the fat out from underneath. Sometimes, this destructive behavior actually kills the sheep. Kias are omnivores, so sheep aren't their only prey. In addition to sheep, rabbits and other mammals, they'll even eat other birds. New Zealanders are no stranger to these birds' antics, which include prying open trash cans to scavenge for fatty food, stealing objects from purses, damaging people's cars, and literally stopping traffic. Unfortunately for the birds, their relationship with the sheep fat put them on the endangered species list as farmers shot more than 150,000 of them until the practice was outlawed in 1971. Today, fewer than 5,000 birds exist. Black Heron The black heron lives throughout sub-Saharan Africa, from Senegal and Sudan to South Africa, but is found mainly on the eastern half of the continent and in Madagascar. It's also been observed in Greece and Italy. It prefers shallow open waters, such as the edges of freshwater lakes and ponds, in marshes, river edges, rice fields, and seasonally flooded grasslands. Most of the time, these herons look like your typical wading bird, long legs, long necks, long beaks. But when it's time to eat, this jack black species can be pretty shady. Literally, it's called canopy feeding. When it's hunting for fish, the bird will tuck its head down and spread its wings around its body like an umbrella, creating a nice shady spot for the fish to relax in. Canopy feeding could also give the bird a better look at its prey, 
As the fish moves into the shady location, the black heron scoops down and gulps up its nice tasty meal. Unlike the fish, they do not mind a little sun. While some herons prefer to hunt on their own, most enjoy the company of others while they dine. On average, they'll hunt in groups of 50 individuals. However, the largest flock of black herons on record is 200, and we'd have to agree that this was probably the shadiest dinner party ever. Marabou Stork Considered to be one of the ugliest animals on the planet, beneath its homely exterior, the marabou stork is also one of the most fascinating birds on Earth. Native to tropical Africa, it's been dubbed the undertaker bird because of its appearance. When seen from behind, the marabou stork's back and wings appear cloak-like. Its legs are skinny and white, and sometimes there's a white tuft or what appears to be hair on its head, standing an average of 60 inches tall and weighing in at approximately 20 pounds. The marabou's wingspan of 11 feet is among the largest of any bird that's alive today. The male and female stork look exactly alike and each has a large bill, a pink gular sac near the throat, and a neck ruff. These birds secure much of their food by scavenging. They're attracted to lion kills and have even been known to feed on adult flamingos. These storks may associate with herds of large mammals in order to catch insects disturbed by their movements. They're also attracted to grass fires and will march in front of the advancing fire to grab any fleeing animal. The marabou stork can be found in the wilds of Senegal, Ethiopia, Somalia, Namibia, South Africa, and Uganda most often being spotted near wetlands or in semi-arid savannas and grasslands. It's sometimes hard to imagine that even smaller birds can pose a threat to people, but as you've just seen, some of our fair-weathered friends can be downright frightening. One thing you don't need to be afraid of is the fact that there's more great videos coming right up. Mm -hmm.